Chinese dragon float. Uh, so about a year and a half back, I posted up uh, step 10, or what I thought was step 10 of convict conditioning one arm push up, but I did it with legs apart. And I have to say, after a year and a half, my view on the exercise still stands. If you're going to practice one arm push ups, your legs should be apart because you have more stability. I practice ankles together. I don't really like it. I find, as much as I practice it, uh, the torso always shifts when uh, you do it. And in fact, I had this really awful cramp making this video in the middle of my bicep and tricep. Felt like my arm was going numb. And uh, the shifting is almost inevitable. So I've seen Al Cavallo do it, I've seen Max Shank do it, I've seen pictures of Jim Bethras, and all of them have their torso which shifts. Now in this past year and a half, I was a little disappointed on some stuff. There's so many experts that wrote me on how to do this prison push-ups, and yet when I would look on their YouTube page, there would be zero in the amount of visual content on how they do the prison push-up. So before I give you this video, uh, and it's not perfect, so I'm telling you right off the bat. So before I give you this video on how to do the prison push-up, I want you guys to stop taking the progressions and convict conditioning so seriously, because the book was just written for fun. If you look at when they're doing the PPC, uh, Progressive Calisthenic Certificate, Paul Wade is never there, because Paul Wade is a unicorn. He's somebody that doesn't probably exists. So when you guys write me and tell me this is how Paul Wade does it and you give me all these stats, it's, it's a bit of a joke. Uh, do your best. Uh, try your best with the exercises they give you. Try it. It's not to say that you won't uh, ever keep your torso straight or like straight. It's very possible. But again, it's a very rare exercise. In fact, if you want to know my opinion, the one arm push up feet together is relatively new. Sort of like the muscle up as a mainstream exercise is relatively new. The muscle up as a gymnastic exercise, an old exercise, but as a mainstream exercise is relatively new. And the truth is, when you have all these relatively new exercises, we don't have facts and stats. The facts and stats on these exercises are a bit made up. Uh, all this being said, here's the video. Enjoy. I hope the progressions are helpful. And again, it's not perfect. Just the best that I can muster for now. Namaste. So this is my uh, full variation of the prison push-up. As you can see, my ankles are pretty together, but there's a little shift. These are the progressions that I worked on. I did a one-arm push-up with ankles together up against the wall. This is a pretty cool progression. Then what I did is I had a, an incline. I had a, like a, a bar. And I did the push-ups on there with my feet relatively together also. I find this to be very helpful for this exercise. Again, don't forget to breathe and even here my torso shifts a little bit. Another exercise I've been practicing that has improved my overall push-ups is weighted push-ups with the weight on my the middle of my back. I sometimes do this with three plates, but just for the video I did it with one. It's helped my push-up strength altogether if you want to know the truth. Another exercise is just practice planking with one arm with feet relatively together. Stay maybe 5-10 seconds on each side and shift. This will give you the idea of what uh, your arms sort of need to do and what it feels like for your body to have all this pressure on one arm with the ankles together. Another exercise is you take a reasonably high bench and you do a fair amount of push-ups on one side. Then you do a fair amount of push-ups on the other side. And this will give you quite a bit of pressure on one arm. Very good transition. Another one is archer push-ups. Archer push-ups are really good as they work the pec all together and they usually work one arm more than the other while shifting. Very good idea if practicing one arm push-ups. Now another thing is when you're doing one arm push-up, keep the hand open, not closed. Suction into the floor and make sure the fingers are really spread apart. Focus on the inside and outside of the hand. This will really help with stability while doing a one arm push-up. Then, once you're ready, here you start bringing the feet closer and closer together. And then you're ready to start practicing uh, your one-arm push-up. Here I did it with legs apart. So look, even with legs apart, the torso shifts a bit for the average person. So naturally, 
the closer you bring the feet together, the more it's going to shift even more. So unless you're super strong and have practiced this for a long time, it's normal. You see? So doing it standing up, the closer the feet are together, the more the torso shifts. Even when the legs are apart, to uh, torso shifts. What do you want to do? Eh? So here it is. Full prison push-up, still needing work. Uh, front view. Again, this is where my arm was cramping up a little bit. For me, not the best push-up. Just practice legs apart if you're really just doing it for strength and reps. If you're really just doing it to prove something to yourself, then try and practice some of the exercises. It might help you as it did me. Guys, so this is it. The prison push-up. I hope this helps. Namaste. Have yourself a beautiful, beautiful day.